Hello everyone, it's Richard Lewis here again with another video. Something a little bit different uh, today. Uh, for those of you who watch my stream, this probably won't be of any particular interest because you'll have already seen it. But uh, you may remember in Counter-Strike there was a saga relating to a team called Fierce Tiger, the most bullshit team that has ever existed, that was trying to do anything it could to lie, cheat, steal its way to the major and notoriety in China. Well, one of the players that they had back when they existed, obviously, subsequently, uh, if you've been following my coverage of the story, they pretty much disbanded uh, and only kept this one player. Uh, there was a player called Leo, and Leo got vac banned uh, in the middle of a tournament. He was a uh, cheater, it seems. Nobody really knows who this Leo guy is. Supposedly some young and upcoming talent. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things I thought I'd do is on stream was there was this particular game where Fierce Tiger beat Tai Lu in a series, and they had this overtime win on Inferno, and Leo top frag now if you know anything about people who cheat uh it's very hard for them to stay within themselves and stay disciplined they've got to go crazy at some point well what's the purpose of cheating otherwise right so this guy uh was top fragging in this game against Tai Lu, who we've all seen are an amazing team an exciting team an upcoming team a team that i watch a lot of and i'm super happy this is the best version of Tai Lu we've had and they were able to get the win so I watched the demo from Leo's point of view, and let's just say there's a <laughs> more than a few highlights in it. Um, you, you know, there'll probably be some people who I know I know enough about Counter Strike that people will watch this and go, "Oh, it's absolutely clean." I don't know what which is talking about. Within the context that he got vac banned shortly after this, um, I think we can make some assumptions. Anyway, here are the highlights from that stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. That was totally unnecessary. I didn't realize we were doing silver casts. Well, put it this way, this guy's performance is anything but silver. Just looking at the numbers, him and Benta are just on, like I say, it goes to overtime. And then Fierce Tiger winning overtime. So I'm just expecting blatant toggles, like, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe he was legit in this must win game against Stylo. Yeah, this is map three. This was the must-win map. And Leo goes off. The guy we're watching is Leo. Leo goes off. So, let's just see. Now, keep in mind, if one guy was cheating and and uh, you wanted to rig an outcome, you wouldn't put a name bot on because that would be too obvious, although you might have it configured. It would just be a wall hack. And you would just tell your teams, like, where to rotate to and stuff. Like, see, see they've got, like... Four on the A side. So they go apartments. There's four on A. Then with a godlike read, they decide to walk up banana knowing that there's only one guy here. Like, it's already bullshit, guys. This is already grade A bullshit. This is already grade A bullshit. Now, now let's go fast, like. Now that... Because <laughs> they know as well that they can't be on the rotate. Yeah, sure, it could be a legit fake dust, but take yeah again. Guy gets back banned. I'm gonna say that's grade A bullshit, me. Whoa. Whoa. So he definitely gets flashed them. Um, uh, <laughs> guys, G guys, guys,
There's no way though. Hang on, let's get, let's get past this bit with the flash. Alright. Okay, I'm slowing it down to quarter speed. <laughs> right, quarter speed, guys. So already that is a very dubious pistol round that you manage to avoid the stack, but not only avoid the stack, you manage to get positional advantage on the one guy on the other side. That's like dubious to me. Certainly in isolation, you wouldn't necessarily blame anything. I'm just going to go for that quick little... Uh... Like, guys, come on. That's, that's fucking mental. Right. Oh, I'll have a quick look to window just as the guy's about to run around a corner to help with my crosshair assistance. This guy, this guy is bullshit, dudes. He's walling his tits off. This is like watching a fucking ED demo in the <laughs> timing. He's heard him now, of course, so that's fair. Nearly gave the game away there with that pre-fire. <laughs> no. Guys, how did nobody... How did nobody call this out? This is three fucking rounds. This is like the first three fucking rounds against Ty Lu. Like, you've got the bomb. You you've got you've got the sight. Oh, guys, I'll just go back and check uh, mid. Make sure no one's pushing on us. Yeah, what are you taking the bomb for? No reason. I'm not confident there's a guy here and I'm going to kill him or anything. I'm drinking some absolute garbage beer. I wish I'd never bought it. It's called Tartastic Strawberry and Lemon Ale. It's fucking gross. It's like fucking beer with like rotten fruit in it. Ugh. Definitely holding that angle. I don't know. My instinct for a close peek would be to check the right side or coffins, maybe? Not close. Like, so he checks there, sees there's no one there, then immediately starts lining that. Like, perfectly. That's at a quarter speed, by the way. That would be a reasonable reaction speed if it wasn't. See, this is, this is somebody that doesn't have the benefit of walls peaking, trying to cover multiple angles. You try and keep your crosshair in, like, neutral. Oh! Bente is sick, by the way, guys. Didn't need to peek there while reloading. Rush of blood to the head. Could have won that. But Bente is such a fucking sick player. I love watching that guy play. But that's like, you try and keep your crosshair between points, and you try and flick to maximize the percentages. Um, that's what, when you don't know where people are, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's, that, that's one for the admins. Oh, look at my, I pre fire that spot all the time, guys. 
I pre-fire that to all the time. See how I ran around the corner and quickly pre-fired it with my Mac 10? You're gonna get your That's proof today. that that ridiculous bullshit kill I got earlier wasn't bullshit. Cheers for the sub there. Crooked hates you. I, I expect big things here. I, I really do. I expect him to do something ridiculous. Because this would be, this would be a, a round you would definitely cheat in. Right, so... The guy... Didn't do the executed strat to stay back just in case one guy rushed up fucking t second mid or T-apps. Then... Does that ridiculous flick... Like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> the, like, how... The the read on the guy in apps is insane. Game sense. But, like, I, I don't know. I think that's just a lucky flick. Like, you get them with the USP at that range. I don't... I doubt that's an aim lock. Like, seriously, I don't think he's aim locking. I think that would be the dumbest thing you could do. Because the, it's a lot easier to spot a, 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 like an actual aim bot than it is to um spot a wall hacks wall hacks are incredibly subjective All right so here we go quarter speed again so i'm gonna wait at the back guys i'm gonna wait at the back oh hang on does hear a window does hear the window yeah so actually, sound cue, you would think maybe there was something second mid. Now, is Crosshair Strays perilously close to the one in T-Apps? Could be a coincidence. He could be waiting for the guy to come up second mid. But does get the peak. Yeah, that's that. That's how you know he's hacking. Looks at him, but then decides to go for that guy there. But again, that's not a name bot. He just knew he had to let that guy go because the ones at bottom were more of a risk. So that's why you do it that way. Suspicious, right? Yeah, I'm just going to take this super risky jewel because, uh, yeah, look. Um, oh, wow. Wouldn't you know I just shot him in the back? Holy moly. Well, they thought around some problems creatively. And I think it's more balanced than it used to be where it was very CT-sided. But uh, for me now, the the cost of that balance... Oh, oh no, I'm not, I'm not going to push through. I'm not going to push through for some reason. I was going to. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this fucking hard nope. Let's just have a look at the hard nope. That he just pulled. <laughs> like, fuck off, mate. Fuck right off. That's such bullshit. It's such obvious bullshit as well. Like, within the context of everything else that happened in the fucking game. Right. Let's just watch that again. That's a fucking hard nope. That's an that's a hard negative, You're Ghost Rider. Cheers uh, for the sub that I Krizik. I appreciate it. All 
Right, let's let's check it. So obviously he's thinking like you know we've we've just decoded a ton. Time to make a play. I'll just put like I, you can see them all going second mid. Flash is coming up mid. Put down the smoke. And here we go. It's my time to shine. Wait a whoa whoopsie doodle. There's a guy with an AWP. I better better hold back. Better hold back. Oh 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 oh. I bet I can push through now. I bet I can put. Oh yep yep. Time to go. Do 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 do. do. Like, come on, man. What? Okay. How are you playing this one? Oh, there's one grave. What am I going to do? Do I line up for grave? No. I... <laughs> Fuck right off. <laughs> Fuck right off. That's absolute bullshit, mate. That is so, that whole round is just fucking comedy, man. What an absolute fucking joke. He was out in the open. I'll just go for the insane fucking. Come on. How is he? <laughs> What's he doing? What is he doing? Holy shit, that's bad, dude. Oh my fucking god. Again, just blind panic, dude. Like. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go on. Ah, oh, your your home slice got you. Your homie saved you. I'll just push fast now. Pre fired every other round. Just gonna come. Oh, oh, look at that. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? It was totally safe to do that really fast push. Well, absolute bullshit that is. Didn't check anywhere at all. What a passage of play there in the last round. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. -na 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 -na. Turtle power! You know, like, what absolute bullshit, dude. That whole that whole last round was nonsense, wasn't it? So And like I say, the craziest thing about it, nobody complained. Nobody from Tyloo said, hang on a minute. Nobody who watched the game said, hang on a minute. Nobody fucking said anything.